What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial Patreon request from Pirates of Al, the Blades of Chaos from God of War. So, I kind of found this cool image of them sort of crisscrossed kind of on display. It looks like you can buy them, kind of models of them, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so, um, let's give this a go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause or go too fast. Unusual, don't get requests for like objects that much. And objects can be a lot actually trickier to draw than like portraits. I know that sounds crazy, but it's because they're so precise kind of. So a ruler might come in handy actually, just before I get going. And um, just for certain bits of it, like there's some lines on the blade that I might use a ruler for. Uh, okay, so, so, I guess where we start, it's they are complicated things. So I'm gonna start with the blade that's going this way. Right, so they're kind of curving outward spiking this way. It's so kind of like bat wings or something. So it curves out here, bumping out like this, right? So we're going diagonally. Okay. So three, one, two, three curves. And then a fourth, like much bigger one. Am I right? One, two, three, and then a massive one. So then it goes that way. And then this swoops the whole way down to a point at the front. And I'm going to about here. Okay, so from here you have this big arc, like a curve. Going that way. Okay, so that's like the, sh this is like the sharp section of the blade. So this point then comes back Right, and it goes up to this point again, and it kind of goes like this section, right? So it kind of like curves up there, and then it does that a few more times, right? So it goes up like that, up to there. These are kind of smaller ones, and then the blade kind of disappears underneath these kind of teeth that hang down here. So then it has a dark gray section of metal which has all these runes and symbols in them. So this kind of comes straight from here first. It goes sort of straight and then it seems to curve there. And then it curves again. there and then it curves around to a point up here so it's kind of pointy here and then this curves to a point here And then it curves a bit and then straightens up again and goes back up that way. Under there. Right, and then we have like some edge, like some lines that sort of give the sort of blades some like angles, like different sections. here and then there's like another there and then here here and on these like that 
Now, we'll get the main shapes in first, and then I'll do all those ruins and things. So, it's like it's got the head of a snake or something here, right? And it's kind of complicated. So, the first one. So, we'll go like this way, right? And then we have, like, these teeth. These sharp, pointing, like head of a snake kind of thing. Okay, and then, so then there's like a gap, or just like a different spiraling kind of S shape here. Here's complicated now, so take your time, hit pause a lot when I move my hand. And it looks like these teeth have caps on them or something like that. So this S kind of spikes out the back. Up there and then back down. This kind of spirals a bit. So it looks like it twists around itself here. But continues as well so it goes like around this way now there is crazy gold patterns and everything on this but you wouldn't really be able to draw all those unless you were like a computer okay so it's kind of like that and then there's another layer so this like goes around here and then underneath looks like a head of a dog basically like that kind of a thing and then so Another thing sticking out here. And then another yoke here. Okay. And then there's like an eye in here. seems to have like a purple jewel inside there with like but it's kind of dark around it there's a bit of gold around it but I'll just do it black and do that purple jewel and then that goes down that way and then we've got like some edge lines and things to all this you know like just some 3d sort of shapes And then we have like spikes sticking up here and then spikes coming off the back here. So it's complicated. 
and then the handles so okay um, before I do the handles I might just get the other blade in behind it right so I'll just go do this curved thing here like the, you can see like the inside of the blade there right so I want like this big sweeping curved section to go this way and then I'll join it there right and then the top of it so we've got like this other snake eye situation sort of up here somewhere right so that's our blade it's like the other side of it okay so I think we'll go this way this time and then the gold head there and then another one And then like the dog head thing. It's like a dog or a snake or something. There. That way. And then the tail of this kind of sticks up around here. And then like the edge of the blade goes that way. Right, and then it's complicated. Take it slow. These kind of edge lines to this and stuff. And then this kind of curves down that way. Back around to there. And then we got like some spikes. that and then on the top like so and then there's like another little edge line there and then we have the gold tops so this goes around that way then another sort of spike here and then that goes around to there the top of the handle like that right and there's like you know the top the silver sort of top of that handle is here as well Nice. Let me. We'll do some of these details that are on this blade as well. Curve it out there. This is like the dark grey section. Sweeps all the way back there. There's like an edge line that way, that way, like that. Okay. Whew. That's hard. So, our handle then sweeps out this way. And then goes around like this. And the chains come out from a hole 
sort of in here, but we'll just do the, I don't like drawing chains, but we've got to do it. So this kind of curves around here and this goes that way. And up to a spike and then back down there and then the chain kind of comes out from a black hole or something here or like a hole in the sword and then this has another sort of gray section here and then we've got like you know edges and all the shapes and stuff on it here sort of elaborate sort of gold and silver details and stuff on this now you can do as much of that as you want I think I'll just keep it like that and then so it's got these sort of lines coming down it as well coming down the handle Okay, and then we'll do that over the other side as well. So we go, right, and then it goes around, and then back down, and then we'll do the blade that's on the top, so it kind of spikes up around and down here and then we have a dark gray sort of element inside here it's like a different piece of metal and then there and then there's the hole just line that way different sort of three-dimensional sort of sections on all this now right and then these shapes he's got these curve lines and then they curve down around the handle like that okay so we got to do chains well you don't have to do chains you can leave it like that or we can do the chains but I'll do the ruins down here and then we'll add the chains as the final piece because I don't like drawing chains that's the worst <laughs> So well, that's just me, maybe. Let's see, maybe a different pen. So there's like lines and diamonds. So we'll go. Right. And then there's like a diamond. Right, and then a third. Diamond there, and then another line. Carving out the, it's like, like shooting stars or something. Coming out from all these. as crazy with this as you want just like a diamond at the end of this one and then there's like what would you say like crosses and u-shape 
So I'll just go for this now. I'm just going to like start adding crazy sort of ruins and lines. And So feel free to like fix anything that I do wrong, of course, because I'm just sort of getting the gist, you know, they're quite detailed. And then down here, we've got like X. I'm sure all of these have very significant meanings. And I'm like butchering it. <laughs> I think there's another one there, but I can't see it. Oh. That. Okay, and then, so we'll go. Okay, and that loop now chains. So we're just going to have them sort of hang down. And I'm just going to do them in black. You could do them like double lines and stuff if you wanted. But it's kind of easier to just do these black thick lines, right? So just like carving down here. Of course, if you wanted to like just outline, draw the outline of these, you can. But interlinked sort of sections is much simpler right so just like links in a chain just sort of overlapping one another is the simplest and quickest way i've found to draw chains if you wanted to draw them as if they were sort of gray you would have to do like double the line and it would take a long time they're pretty complicated things chains to draw at least. So I prefer just like doing it like this. It's much more straightforward.
okay that kind of a thing and they kind of go in behind here and they kind of wrap around and go back up the other side so we'll go okay but I think that's it you could add some textures and stuff to the blade if you wanted dirt blood whatever you'd like but i think i will leave it like that hope it's helpful part as well thanks for the request pretty tricky see you in the next one bye